Today we're going to take a look at unit rates and proportions. You'll need to make sure you have a calculator out and that you're taking notes as you watch. Be sure to copy down the examples and try them yourself as we're working. By the time you're done, you'll know how to find a unit rate from a situation, a table, and a graph. A unit rate is a ratio that compares a quantity to one unit of another quantity. Um, you sometimes hear it referred to as like per one of something. Uh, so for, for an example here, we might have, um, you see speed limit signs on the highway? 55 miles per hour. That's a unit rate because you're talking about how many miles you go in one hour. So this per, per is talking about in one. Okay, or you could say I read, uh, oops, I read 25 pages in one day. Okay. Again, when you're talking about one of something, uh, you're talking about a unit rate, okay? 25 pages in one day. You might also go to the grocery store and, I don't know, buy some grapes and say they are $2.19 for one pound. Again, that's two nineteen per pound or $2.19 for one pound of something. Our first example comes from a situation. So it tells us that Sam types 731 words in 17 minutes, and we're looking to find his unit rate. Okay, so I'm going to start by writing down uh, the rate that we're given, which is 731 words in 17 minutes. So to find the unit rate, we're trying to figure out how many words Sam types in one minute, right? Because we're talking about per one of something. So I'm gonna put X words over one minute. And then I can use cross multiplication to solve this. So I do 731 times one divided by 17, and that will tell me my X. So 731 divided by 17 is 43. So X equals 43 um, and I don't just want to leave the number, I want to write it in as a unit rate. So our unit rates will include uh, two units in our label. So we have 43 words, okay, but to be a rate, we need both quantities. So words per minute. Okay, or you can say 43 words in one minute. All right. Um, notice another way we could have solved this one is to just do division right off the bat. Um, if you want words per minute, then you can take the words that you were given and divide it by the minutes. And 731 divided by 17 would also give you that 43 again. Our second example tells us that Kelsey paid $4.95 for three-fourths of a pound of her favorite trail mix. And we're looking for the unit price, um, which is also the unit rate, and we want that in dollars per pound. So I'm going to start with writing down what we know what we know, $4.95 for three-fourths of a pound, and we want to know how many dollars in uh, for one pound. So I put the X in my proportion for the unknown, um, and then I cross-multiply. So I have 4.95 times 1 divided by three-fourths. Um, and what I think would make this easier for me is I'm going to, instead of doing three-fourths, I'm going to put that in as a decimal. Uh, because I know 3 fourths is 0.75, that makes it easier to work with. So we have 4.95 divided by 0.75, and I get 6.6. .6. Okay, but now I have to think in terms of what we're talking about here. We're talking about dollars, so we want to make sure that we round to the nearest hundredths place. So I'm going to put a zero after that. And then to write my final answer, with our unit rate, we need to include our label. So this would be written as $6.60 per pound, okay, or $6.60 um, for one pound. Example three has us find the unit growth rate in meters per year based on the table that we're given. So according to the table, um, this maybe tree, I guess, um, grows 15 meters over 75 years and 17 meters after 85 years. And so what we're trying to figure out is the growth rate in meters per year. So let's pick one of these. I'll just, I'll start with, um, we'll use these numbers. So we know that in, uh, it grows 15 meters 
in 75 years. Notice how I'm putting labels in my proportion. That's really going to help me uh, make sure that I don't mix numbers up at all. Um, and we want to know the rate in meters per year. So we're talking about one year. We want to know how many meters. Okay, so now I'm going to cross multiply. I have 15 times 1, which is 15, divided by 75, and I get x equals 0 0.2. Okay, so um, if I'm looking at how to write this as a final answer here, I could say like 0.2 meters per year, or I could also turn that into a fraction, and that would be um, one-fifth meters per year. You could say one-fifth of a meter in one year. Um, any one of those would work. Just make sure that you're talking about how many meters it's growing in one year. Our final example will show you how to find the unit rate from a graph. Okay, if I take a look at this graph, I see that it's showing me the cost of filling bottles, and on the x-axis we have the bottles refilled, and on the y-axis we have the cost. So normally if I'm looking for the unit rate on a graph, I'm trying to figure out um, what the y value is when my x value is 1. So on this graph, I'd be looking right about here, right? However, I can't really tell what that value is. It doesn't go right through a nice point on our graph, so I would have to make an estimate. Okay, we know it's a little bit more than 2.5, um, but I can't tell exactly how much it is. So what we have to do is we have to follow our line and look for a point that goes exactly through one of the lattice points, or right where those lines cross. And I see one right here. Okay, so then let's figure out what the coordinates are of that point to see if that helps us um, figure out the cost of these water bottles. So if I go down, I see that this is five water bottles. Okay, and then if I follow it across, I see that it's halfway between 15 and 20. So how much would that be right there? I'm going to give you a second to figure that out. All right, well, to find between 15 and 20, uh, you can do 15 plus 20 and divide that by 2. And when you do that, you'll find out that 1750 is the halfway point. So let's use this information now to find our unit rate. Okay, so we've learned that it costs 1750 for five bottles. And we want to know the cost of one bottle. So I'm going to put the one with the B, one bottle, um, and we'll set it up this way. Um, so now what I can do is 1750 uh, times 1, which is just 1750, divided by 5. And I find out that it is 3.5, which ends up being $3.50 per bottle. All right, so there's our unit rate from a graph. Um, I do want to point out one other thing, that there was another point we could have used on here to help us. If I kept looking up my graph, I would see one more point that goes through a nice lattice point, and that is at 10.35. So I could have used that one at the beginning as well to say that um, it's $35 for 10 bottles. How much is it for one bottle? And if you did that, you would have ended up with the same answer of 3.5 or $3.50 per bottle. Now that we have reviewed how to find the unit rate uh, in a situation on a table and a graph, uh, I'd like you to continue on to the checkpoint problems from chapter three. Um, it's problems one through 18, and I'd like you to work on those in class, and then we'll talk at the end about what homework will be. Um, make sure that you are writing each of these out on paper. Uh, I'm going to wanna see them, and possibly you'll be handing them in. Um, and then also be sure that you're showing your work on each of the problems. Okay, and include your labels on all your answers. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks.